welcome to LGS Outdoors. We had an amazing day yellow bass fishing and we just decided that we wanted to share it with all you guys. The day started out with a little pheasant hunting. Didn't go so well but a friend of mine called me up and wanted to take his boat out one last time so we decided to head over to Fairmont, Minnesota and see exactly how good the yellow bass bite was and it was amazing. We got there about one o'clock in the afternoon went out on bud, went across the channel, got out there and found the fish and we were on those fish and they were biting for every cast that you threw. Uh, we were trying a lot of different tactics, you know, we were jigging over the side of the boat, we were casting, but uh, the main thing that they wanted was spikes. That was their favorite bait because basically if you didn't have the spikes on, they were taking it, you know, taking everything off the hook and they were biting so quick that you're missing them. Even though with yellow bass fishing that happens a lot. So, that was about how the day went. Uh, we had a few bonus fish. Unfortunately, we caught a walleye off camera, so I didn't get that on camera, but I'll share the picture of you with that, or share the picture with you of that fish. And uh, we want to thank Mr. E for taking us out in the boat. That was pretty awesome of him to give me a call and ask me if I wanted to go be the guide and put us on the fish, and that's exactly what we did. Um, also, in this video, we're gonna show you a little bit of how we like to clean these yellow bass. Because I can tell you right now, yellow bass are some of the best tasting fish that you're going to eat. And if you haven't tried them, you need to try them. And also, I would like to tell you the amount of fish that we caught in this, in this video. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a little contest. So if you subscribe to our channel, comment on the video, and guess how many fish you think that we caught in this day, then we're going to give away a Legends Guide Service stocking cap. So, like and subscribe to our video or to our channel and our video, and then comment on how many fish you think we caught, and the person who is the closest will win a free stocking cap. So thank you. We really appreciate you watching our content, and we really hope you enjoy. A good one. We'll get it in there, swing it in. Line. Just jigging over the side of the boat. Of the boat. Fish on! There's absolutely nothing wrong with this fish. 
this. It's probably an eight inch or pretty close. Look how fat they are. Look at that. And they they're real good. tasty to eat too. That's right, they look good in the frying pan. Fish on. Oh, oh, no fish on. Oh, yeah. What's up? Spinning around, whoops. Absolute a night. Not a nice one, but it's not bad at all either. Fish yeah. on in the back oh, of the boat. That's, a, that's, that's a nice one. Double up, double up here. Biggins. Both biggins. <laughs> They're both real big and yeah, one of them's tiny and one of them's giant. That one just makes it look. We gotta think of big and on. Just a fighter, I guess, because they fight hard. They're not wrong with that fish. It's just not a not a ten incher. <laughs> yeah, but they fight real hard, like they're ten incher. That's for sure. Fish on in the back of the boat. Doubled up. Double. <laughs> we got a perch. Bonus fish. Second perch of the day. Bad. Put him back. They're longer than that. Are you sure? This is full of fish, but. No one coming in? You really got that. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, I bought double. Probably 10. It's a nine inch fish. They officially say. A little split shot above it, about six inches to a foot, so that way it gets a little windy today. And we're just using spikes, so we put on in front, they put about two or three of them on there, and you take the last little bite and you want to load it up. That's what they want. Well, didn't take about four seconds till he dropped down and he got one. Oh, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> Fish on again. Another perch. Third perch of the day. A little smaller one, but that's all right. Put him back. One last cast, Ryder. <laughs> Get him! Got him! Fish on! Hey, how's it going? There it is! Last fish of the day. We're getting ready to tally everything up, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see the amount of numbers we got, huh? What did we just catch? About 25 fish in five minutes? Yeah, and I'd say we definitely have at least three, 250, if not 300. All right, well, we'll get to tallying them. We'll let everybody know what we got. Oh, well, there's one live well. Oh, boat's moving, guys. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, so we had a good day fishing yellow bass, and now we're going to show you how we like to clean these fish. Go back behind the fin, angle your blade. Hit the back ball. Flip it over like that. And you got one play done. Flip over to the other side, same thing. sitting here so we'll do this one too.
Okay, so the biggest thing that we do, is you can see the rib cage. You got your rib cage in there. What we do is we go right up above that, and I just cut it out completely. Just like that. Now you're going to have a little meat, but these fish sometimes have a bloodline in them. You can see it there. So when you cut that out, you get rid of that bloodline, and then you don't have any issues of bad tasting fish, and you get a really nice, nice looking fillet like that. So, right above the, right above the rib cage, straight cut along the ribs all the way through, straight down, cut them out. There's your chunk of meat. Same thing here, straight across, down, nice fillet there. Just like that, nice fillet. We have a lot of happy people when we cook these up for everybody, but then you end up with a nice chunk of meat. Just like this. No bones, no bloodline. It'll fry up really nice. And then the biggest thing also is make sure you wash your fillets good before you put freeze them. Clean them up good, put them in water, add a little salt water to them, put them in the fridge for 24 hours, and then either eat them or clean them. And they'll be some of the best fish that you've ever had because yellows are great to eat. If anybody's wondering, one of our favorite fish to eat, and I know they get a bad reputation because people say, you know, different things about them, but we can tell you ourselves that they are one of the best eating fish that you can have. So if you get a chance to go out there and catch them, give it your best shot and enjoy them.